Gimmel all along to a great time. Second off your best, do you have any expectations coming into this meet for that race or the meet in particular? Um, no, I didn't really have any expectations for this meet. Uh, it's been kind of weird because usually this is my like big meet, but um, I leave for Australia on Tuesday, so mm -hmm. I've just been kind of using this meet to get in some long course practice. How do you feel like long course racing and training sets you up to race your course? Um, I mean, I don't really train long course that often, especially in the winter, but I think long course racing really gets you in the like endurance mindset, and then once you hit short course, you're like, oh, the wall's right here. This is so chill. <laughs> <laughs> what advantage do you think, or disadvantage do you think it is, uh, to come from a swimming family? Is that more pressure to have been around swimming as long as you have, especially at the elite level, or do you think that it is helpful for you as you make your way onto the national and world scene? I think definitely both. I mean, sometimes I do kind of wish that like my parents didn't know anything about swimming and they could just be like, oh, that was so great, no matter what happens. But I think it also has that like effect of it not being so scary because I'm just so used to like being around all of this and it makes it feel more comfortable. Do you think you, as a result of that upbringing, are also hyper aware of times and details or do you prefer to zone out? Um, I prefer to zone out. I mean, I'll like keep up with swimming a little bit, but I have friends that'll be like, hey, did you see this time and this happened? And I'm like, I don't even know if that's fast. Like, I'm, you're going to need to like give me some context. <laughs> All right. What about the flare on the Crocs? Uh, yeah, I've had these Crocs for like four years. Um, you can definitely tell, but uh, I don't like having shoes that take a long time to take off. So I have my Crocs and I decorated them and they come everywhere with me. If outside of Crocs, what do you think is the biggest fashion statement in swimming? Have we moved on from Uggs into the Crocs era? What's next? I was never an Uggs person. I think the fuzz getting like wet like really bothered me. Um, fashion statement in swimming. I think definitely a lot more people are just like owning looking like an egg and wearing their caps and goggles like up onto the award stand instead of like taking them off in between just going up there looking like an egg and i support the egg look yeah did you try to influence the podium tonight you were the only one with your cap off yeah it, before the meet start the session started i like sent a photo to my friend and she called me an egg and i was like i i can't do it i can't look like an egg today because <laughs> my friends call me egg sometimes to make me mad because my initials are eg so i was like i can't do it <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. Great swim. Thank you.